guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today, we are gonna take a non-waste-gated turbo and put a waste-gated housing on it, and I'm gonna show you how to hook up everything so that you can accurately operate this waste gate. Stay tuned. So we're gonna start off by taking off this V-band clamp here. This is an 11 millimeter on this S410SX. Once we have the nut off, we can position it and we can just give that housing a yank and it should come right off. On new turbos, this can be done pretty easily. On old turbos, you might fight a little bit. So take that V-band clamp, make sure it's positioned correctly. You want the stud facing out towards the flange that goes to the exhaust housing. And you're gonna put that down. Take your new housing and you're going to slide it over. Be very careful not to dab into the turbine wheel here, guys. And once you get this sitting down on the housing there, you're going to spread that clamp out so that it completely seats on the bearing housing. It's very important to do this step because there are two ridges down there. And a lot of times guys might put the clamp on the wrong ridge. But as you can see, the turbine housing dropped down there. You know that it's seated correctly and ready to be tightened back down. Oh, All right, so you can see now that we have our waste gated housing on and we've removed our non waste gated housing. All you have to do is pull off this V band clamp, which is really easy. I mean, it's a lot easier when the turbos know it's a little bit more difficult when the turbos are used. Sometimes you have to use some blunt force or some uh, B. What's that? What do you call that, Stephen? BFH? I don't know what we're talking about. Big bleeping hammer! Not so swapping the housing is pretty straightforward. Now you'll see here that there's this nipple on the actuator and that's where it's going to get a source of boost pressure to open and close the actual trap door, the actual wastegate inside the turbo. And fortunately, Borg Warner gives us a spot right here. You've probably seen this on your turbo and like, hey, what's this for? Well, it's for tapping for a wastegate. So we're going to remove this bolt. And we're going to add here this elbow that has a hose barb on it so that we can use this to read boost at the compressor cover to open up the diaphragm in this actuator. It's ridiculously important to throw a piece of masking tape under the compressor cover there. And you'll see why. It's going to catch all these shavings as we're removing this bolt and then as we go ahead and tap it. shavings you definitely don't want those going through your turbo all right so now you can see that we have our plug out and then we've retapped the threads so that our new elbow will go in here real nice So here's the finished product. We took a non-wastegated billet 78 millimeter S410SX. We added a wastegated housing, and then we retapped the cover to accept a port that would allow the actuator to read boost. Uh, we don't have it hooked up because basically this is gonna get reoriented depending on the truck. The compressor cover will sit up a bit, and then they can hook this line up. But we clock the turbos in this way so it makes them easy to fit in the box so they don't get damaged. So just to recap, we switched our housing. We put our old plug on and we made sure to put tape under here to catch any of the shavings. Then we took uh, you know, this to clean up the threads, this tap, we ran the tap through. Then we were able to put our elbow in and our hose, which is gonna connect to our wastegate actuator. Guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can basically do this in reverse to make a non, you know, make a non wastegated turbo out of a wastegated turbo. Um, so yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Uh, Steven, you're making too much noise. <laughs> I'm fucking believable. I'm gonna have to do so much editing to this fucking video. Yeah.